Hi guys, this is um, the second video um, I've made of my personal Filofax setup. Um, so a few things have changed since the first time and I just thought um, it might be interesting to document because I'm pretty much a newbie uh, in this, how it's evolved. Maybe, maybe there's some other beginners who find this really useful in terms of the process, um, learn the same things. Um, so it's a personal size, file of facts, what is it called, Kingston, uh, which I was given from a friend who didn't use it anymore. Um, initially I had a lot of cards in here, but I found that when I was writing something on the left hand side, it was really annoying me. So what I do now at the moment, I just pop the pens in there um, and I pull them out and use these um, whilst I'm writing in anyway. Not really that big into colour coding yet or anything, but I just write different things in different colours just to break it up a bit. Um, and I'm currently using the uh, Uniball Signal. Um, I think they're 0.3, what is it? It says 0.38 um, and they work really well uh, in this size. So um, I have a page underneath here with some personal stuff on, but then also I thought what I'll do is I'll pop on there any notes, um, you can see they're dated. Um, as and when I um, change something in the setup so that sheet will stay and at the end hopefully I will understand all right I stick and stuck with certain inserts a certain amount of time and so on so it just happens to be on the front I then started out with um, immediate to do's or sort of like a dump um, the to do's I'm not really doing in there anymore as I said I'll probably be doing it as just as a dump stuff I don't know where to put it yet we'll just go in here so for now we'll see then we've got um, sort of yearly overview, um, which I mainly use this for um, to see when I'm um, out of the country. And then we come into month on two pages. And that I really just use for my blog. So I track um, because I like to see it on all every Monday I'm doing something specific and every Thursday I'm doing something specific and so on. And it just um, is nice to list it like that. Um, you can see there I've got my whatever Facebook um, likes and all of that kind of stuff on there. Very small numbers um, because my blog is still very small. Um, then the next section is and that's changed recently. So you can see there the first few pages are still on these um, homemade craft week on two pages and they worked really well um, for a couple of weeks whilst I was using them for the main meat of the planning. So I had like a known sec, this is all my own stuff that I had to do and remember and whatever. Um, and this is uh, stuff that uh, I had to do for my blog, um, uh, things I expected to come in um things reminders about what to do for the blog reminders of what i had to do and so on um and then when i introduced my week on um uh, sorry day on two pages no sorry day on one page i found i was just rewriting the same stuff so i've now moved on to um a week uh, sorry it's still a week on two pages but I probably will be mainly using that. I've just popped some washi tape on that. It does come with, on the other side, with just some blank paper to take notes. So I'll see whether I actually use that. And if not, I think what I'll do is I'll move to um, a week on one page and that's it. Um, and that's really just for the forward planning. So um, if I know in three weeks time I'm doing something on a Saturday or Friday or I have to remember that or a deadline or whatever, it'll go in there. And then, really what happens for all my proper planning, it'll go onto my homemade craft um, date and one page. And that works really well for me at the moment. So I've got my personal stuff, things I need to remember. I've got things I'm selling a lot of stuff on eBay at the moment, um, sorting out things that need to go on eBay. Um, I'm also selling some bags for friends and stuff. So all of that stuff will go on there and then all of my blog stuff will go on there and then this I'm kind of using a little bit sort of for journaling and stuff so um don't really know what I'll stick with it because I'm not a big journal person but I thought it's just fun to try it out a bit I had a bit of a scribble there and um uh ate a little uh, Italian chocolate which is called Baggi and um, which I love um and uh, just stuck in 
it comes with little proverbs stuck that in um and then like for example here wrote um there we go i'm duplicating a lot of info on my three diary sections um month on two pages week on two pages date date on one page so I, I put my thoughts in there um that's that's the point then when i started looking at the week on two pages as a different layout or considering week on one page um so sorry i'm stumbling now so this is really where i do my day-to-day -day planning um and that works quite well so this is today and then um moving into next week um there's a replacement service for the trains and stuff like that headlines i want to remember for the week and then i already know some things that are happening working from home and so on during this week so um moving on so this is a diary finished really then i have sort of my to do's and that's actually still in there for my last germany trip what i had to pop and then what i had to buy um things i need to sort out for the little one um and yeah various other to do's that need doing for the home for the house or whatever come forward um lists i think i'll just jump things in there like things i want to read there's like ideas of what to do at the weekend and then um blog really so just as a sort of general ideas about scheduling when's the best day to blog and that kind of stuff um brainstorming uh, just dumping ideas down um what's that i don't know and then um proper ideas about posts uh various things like that and then what i have there oh yeah and this is is notes that i have on, on all of the ebay stuff and uh that's pretty much it sorry I, I kind of run out of juice there but really um what i've learned since the last uh, setup really is that your week on two pages in that setup works really really well and it worked really well for myself um, when I didn't use um, a day on one page as soon as I introduced a day on one page I found I just was duplicating content too much which was doing my head in so therefore going forward um oh, it was in this section going forward i will either have just one page per week or maybe one page and a um notes page per week so there yeah, hope you found this useful a lot of rumbling in there sorry um but do let me know what you think bye bye